What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Joe Sabin and do we have some sick action coming at you this time? So the plan is, got the boat on the back, hooked up to the van and all that. We're heading out. I'm doing some coaching first. Um, so I'll show you a quick bit of that, but not too much. Um, and then Joel's parents have been nice enough to give us the boat for the weekend. So we're heading out there on the boat. We're jet skiing, we're wakeboarding, we're using the Thundercat. And we're going to have an absolute blast. So I hope you can come along for the ride. So this was originally supposed to be a three-day uh, event. It's only going to be two days on camera now. It was a three-day. Me and Joel took yesterday, which is Friday off work, went and climbed some mountains and went, did this massive big long sup and surf, but uh, just as we got back home, dropped the camera in the water, so that GoPro is gone, as you could see just here from the angle of the other camera. Well, we got a situation, I dropped the camera in the water, oh, I found it and then I'm standing on a fish and it swims away. So not ideal. But what can you do? Ah, let's get on the road. Woo! Didn't think it was going to start then. my coach from Ashton George I picked up Shelly who was also working at the yacht club and we raced up to jump and pin to meet the others on the catamaran for lunch. Once we'd finished lunch me and Tom decided we wanted to go for a bit of a womp in the Thundercat and we also realized that we'd forgotten the steaks at dinner so we needed to take uh, the Thundercat back up to Joel's house to go and get the food. So we jumped in we started hooning off and we were womping all the way having a great old time until we realized we'd uh, unfortunately damaged one of the hulls of the Thundercat so we tried taking it slow, but we couldn't uh, couldn't help doing more damage to the boat, so there was no way the boat was going to be able to turn around and go the distance back. So we switched the boat at Tom's house, put the boat back on the trailer and switched it for the jet ski, got the food, and then ran all the way back to jumping pin with no fuel on the jet ski. So it was always a bit interesting with the fuel alarm going off while you're doing 100Ks. But uh, we had good fun, we had good laughs about anyway. But that's, uh, that's why there's a bit of a lack of footage in this little section of the video. <laughs> Welcome to the crew of Boundless One. Saturday night. We've made it here. Boundless. Boundless one. Um, everyone's having showers. Uh, not too long we'll start cooking up some food. I think we have a big barbecue uh, this evening. We've finished all our dramas. We've had our Thundercat dramas. We've had our jet ski dramas. Got all that out of the way. And now we're ready to have a good night. So Thank you. 
<laughs> All right, it's surfing time. Yeehaw. We got both the sups. Chris is already on one. We're going to paddle them down to the bedroom. Everyone else jumping in the van. We're going to send it straight down there, send it out, freeze our you know what off, <laughs> get absolutely pitted, and then we're going to come back here and have a great time wakeboarding and having some lunch. But first, we've got to get down there. So. <laughs> Pin surf break. Joel and Tom are heading out on boards now. Jake and Melly going down for a swim. Here come the stragglers. But what a day, hey, this is absolute glamour. Exploring the sand dunes of Jumbo Pin, lost in the desert. And I've climbed up this little hill here. Everything else around is sand, and this one is just made up of crushed shells. And I was going, oh, that looks interesting. I might go climb that. I've got up here. It freaking kills your feet! Ah! I don't want to get back down. Going down hurts. Ow, 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 Oh, look how sharp they are. Nasty, man. Ooh. Ow, 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 Oh, that freaking hurt. Man. Bad idea. Don't climb that. It's a little wallaby. Hello mate, how are you? And you can see in the background, Joel's out there drowning in the surf. <laughs> Poor Joel. I reckon that's what that wallaby's doing. He's found a good viewing spot to watch Joel, Joel uh, struggle as he paddles out the surf. Let's see if we can get a bit closer to a wallaby in its natural environment. He's off and he's racing, he's going on! <laughs> Surfing's all done. It was alright. Wasn't the best. I think <laughs> about three of us almost uh, died. We paddled for a lot longer than we actually surfed for. But now it's time to head back to the boat, get some lunch, and then a bit of wakeboarding. Maybe a beer. Maybe a beer too. For those of us that almost died. Commem I think I really died commemorate the losses. <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> I got a little bit, a taste of it. <laughs> Just finished our lunch now. Everyone's uh, resting and recovering, getting ready. Well, hopefully we're gonna hit out the water and go for a wakeboard before we start to head home. I think we're aiming to head home at about two o'clock, so we've got a bit over an hour or so. We're only wakeboarding just here, so it should be pretty easy. Pressure's on, I've gotta try and land a backflip. I haven't landed one yet, so you could uh, be in for just some funny stacks, or you could be in for, for the day, the one that I land. We'll see how we go. <laughs> What we do here is go back, 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 back. Hijacker. It's another small tube runs the length of the boat under this and as the boat comes up on the plane it lifts up onto these hijackers and creates a pocket of air between the boat and the water so it makes it be able to go through. But uh, this tube here deflated and then uh, that caused, as it deflated, all the rubber started to wobble around more and more until it eventually shredded like that. So you can see the rubber's torn all out there and the PVC here is open and the valve thing is missing. It's gone. That's right, because it happened exactly the same thing on this side, that used to have a valve as well, and I just shoved high density foam inside there and glued it all up, fixed it all up, it's solid as, and I don't have to worry about it ever popping. That concludes another video guys, hope you enjoyed, if you did enjoy it, please uh, subscribe, feel free to give it a like, and uh, comment anything I could do better or anything you'd like to see in the future. Anyway, thanks for watching guys.